is Shalom Akim. Today's Hebrew word is Sham. Here's how it's spelled in the Assyrian. And it means name. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. The first word we have here is la'a, which means no or not. Next is ka'ala. Ka at the beginning of the word is as and then Allah is the root word which means these so in this case it would mean such so no such or not such and then we have khalaq which is portion or share or part next we have yaikwab which means Jacob and kaya which means four next is yawatazar which means creator hakal Ha at the beginning of the word means the. Call means all. Ha wa'a, which means he. Wa yasharala and Israel. Shabbat means tribe. Then we have nachal thawa. Okay, nachal is the root word, which means to take possession. Uh, the thawa at the end. Uh, turns it into his inheritance or his possession. All right. Next, we have Yahweh, which is the name of the Lord. And then we have Tazaba Awath, which is armies or hosts. Okay. And lastly, we have the Hebrew word of the day, which is Sham Wa. Sham is the root word, which means name. Wa at the end of the word means his. So it will be his name. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.